Hey everybody, I'm Shelby at the Agnes Robinson Waterloo Public Library and welcome back to another teen edition of our book talks. Not only is it October, but it is also Teentober, which is a brand new initiative by the American Library Association to help teens in our community find books that they can really enjoy, um, utilize our teen programming here at the library, and help you connect your passions on the page into your life outside of reading. So hopefully you find something awesome to read um, at our library this Teentober, and let's go ahead and get started. I do have one quick PSA, and that is that you do not have to be a teen, a tween, or a young adult to enjoy any of these books discussed today or to find something to read in our teen section at the library. Just because these books are categorized as young adult um, doesn't mean you have to be a young adult to read them. It simply means that a lot of the characters in these books are either in middle school, high school, or early college, and the, they are going through those types of experiences. As we know, a lot of the experiences that young adults go through are quite universal and show up later in our lives. So. Um, we can all find something fabulous to read in the young adult section or even in graphic novels. So let's get started and learn about a few today. My first pick today is Furia by Yamila Saeed Mendez. If you like sports, especially soccer, this might be the book for you this fall. Camila is a rising soccer star in Argentina. She's in high school and her team makes it to the South American playoffs and they have a successful run there and she even wins a scholarship to attend a North American university. But there's a catch. Her family doesn't know about her soccer passion. In fact, they would never let their daughter, a girl, play a sport like football. Her secret ambition becomes even more complicated when an old love interest moves back to Argentina and she has to make the choice between staying true to herself and following her dreams or staying behind in her hometown. That's Furia by Yamila Saeed Mendez. My next pick is so good that it's already been checked out. It is a graphic novel called New Kid by Jerry Craft, so I'm showing you a picture of it here. Seventh grader Jordan Banks loves nothing more than drawing cartoons of his life, quite like a graphic novel like this one. But instead of sending him to the art school of his dreams, his parents send him to a prestigious private school based on academics. Not only is he the new kid, which as we know, isn't always the best experience, but he's one of the only few kids of color in his grade. So as he walks from his apartment in the Heights to his upscale new private school every day, he soon finds himself torn between two very different worlds. And he doesn't fit in to either one. Can he learn to fit in while staying true to himself? We will find out in New Kid by Jerry Craft. This one's a graphic novel, which is awesome, has images and pictures and illustrations on every single page. They're super quick and easy to read. You fly right through them. I recommend this next pick to anyone who's interested in the music industry. It is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. It's about a young woman named Enchanted Jones who is an aspiring singer in high school. One day, her career takes flight when R&B mogul Corey Fields discovers her at an audition. He quickly becomes her agent, and she begins to admire his luxurious life, but she learns he has a dark side full of rage and control. So this book is about how one day Enchanted wakes up with blood on her hands, and Corey Fields is dead, and her fans, and she has no idea what happened. So, we have to find out. That's Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. If you liked the movie Knives Out, this book is for you, The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. All Avery Grahams wants to do is survive high school, earn a scholarship, and get the heck out of town. But her fortune changes when billionaire Tobias Hawthorne dies and leaves Avery his entire fortune. The catch? She has no idea who Tobias Hawthorne is. To receive her inheritance, she must move into his sprawling, secret passage-filled Hawthorne house where every room bears his love of puzzles, riddles, and codes. She will have to win the game to amass this wealth and to simply survive. This is the first book in this series, so read it now to prepare for the rest. That's The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. If you're in the mood for a little bit of romance, this next pick is for you. It is Breathless by Jennifer Niven. 
Claudine is ready for the next step in her life. She is going to go to college in the fall and wants to become a famous author. But then her dad drops a bombshell on their family. He's leaving their mother. So Claudine and her mom move to a very remote and mosquito-infested island off of the coast of Georgia where Claudine meets Jeremiah, a local tour guide and an aspiring photographer. She quickly falls for him, but she knows that there isn't enough time to fall in love while she is still dealing with the shambles of her parents' marriage all around her. And she is putting her already broken heart at risk. So that's Breathless by Jennifer Niven. As a treat, in addition to five young adult books today that I shared with you, I thought it'd be fun to show you three brand new junior fiction chapter books that we just got in at our library that I'm super excited to read. All of them are a little bit different and these books are perfect, first of all, for any readers who thinks they sound interesting, but also for those folks who maybe have graduated into chapter books from picture books recently but aren't quite ready for young adult books yet. So let's get started and see what those are about. In the Canyon's Edge by Dusty Bowling, Nora and her father are in a deep canyon in Arizona where they are hiking. Unfortunately though, one night a flash flood runs through the canyon and whisks away Nora's father and all of their supplies. So it is up to Nora to save her father and save herself on the brink of hunger and dehydration and scorpions in the desert. I know this book sounds really dark, but one of my favorite things about these junior chapter books and young adult books is that they're more likely to have a happier ending than adult books are, in my opinion. So um, that's always something we can look forward to, well at least all, almost always. Um, but that's The Canyon's Edge by Dusty Bowling, and if you enjoy hiking and camping and maybe need a piece of nature in your life, this might be the book for you. A lot of World War II fiction um, and chapter books take place in Europe, but Letters from Cuba by Ruth Behar is unique in that it is a World War II junior novel, but it takes place in Cuba. So um, it is about a young girl who escapes Poland, she's Jewish, and joins her father in Cuba. And at first she is so sweetly surprised and she discovers the kindness of the Cuban people. But on the flip side, she also finds that even Cuba has some strands of Nazism that she was trying to escape back from Europe. So this book is actually based on Ruth Behar, the author's own life and her family story about how she rescued the rest of her family from Europe to join them down in Cuba to escape World War II and the atrocities that occurred there. So that's Letters from Cuba by Ruth Behar. My last pick is The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. This book is super fun. It is about a young robot named Roz and when she wakes up for the first time ever, she is all alone on a remote and deserted island. What could go wrong? Do you think a robot can survive on its own in the wilderness? You tell me. This book is awesome for young readers who are improving their skill. It also has some beautiful illustrations by the author who is a very well-known artist. So that is The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. Thanks for listening to today's teen book talk during teentober i hope you found something that sounds good that you want to pick up from our library sometime this fall you can call us at 402-779-4171 to place a hold on any of these titles we are also open to the public now masks are not required but are greatly appreciated um so we are welcoming you to come pick out a book monday tuesday and thursday or with limited hours on saturday so we'll see you soon and stay safe and healthy